Apple Watch reviews are in the verdict. It's the most ambitious smartwatch right now. It's the best looking one, but it's not essential. And it tells you something when every reviewer says it's not really for everyone. You still need an iPhone to connect in the first place. And with a battery life this short for making phone calls, you're gonna have to eventually go back and recharge. Without onboard app downloading and with its required iPhone syncing, this is an accessory, not really the world's tiniest iPhone. Most other smartwatches out there already have always on modes. Now the Apple Watch has it, so it stays on. If you're typing or holding something, you don't have to do the wrist turn. Doesn't sound exciting, but seriously, it's the most useful feature that Apple's introduced on a watch in a while. If it fits your wrist and it's within your budget, I really think the Ultra is way more than the sum of its parts, but at its heart, it is an Apple Watch Series 8 in Wolf's clothing, so if you don't mind charging your watch a little bit more often, you're getting most of the same features for a lot less cash.